Next video, what are we on? Okay, so Jake Tapper. Moving on to Jake Tapper. This is the one that I wanted to show y'all. All right, where are we? Where are we? Uh, oh, it's on Twitter. It's on um, X as well. So here we go. Should be right here. Is the screen already shared? This screen. Doo -doo -doo. All right, here we go. So this is, I believe this is Jake Tapper. Um, Like I said, CNN. I call out CNN a lot, and I still do believe that the majority of them lean um, or they're just they're just Democrats. They're Democrats. Um, if anything, some of them are moderate Democrats, but they're still Democrats. And they lean in favor of Kamala. However, obviously, there's certain individuals who may feel the need to say otherwise. Um, Jake Tapper, if uh, hold on, let me just make sure that this is Jake. Tapper. It doesn't even matter. All right. Listen to this. Let me make sure this is Jake Tapper. Hold on. I'm Googling Jake Tapper. Therefore, I like to be able to tell y'all. Okay, it is Jake Tapper. Okay. So listen to Jake Tapper's stance because I really truly believe that there were a lot of CNN people who looked at that ABC debate and even they were disgusted by the level of bias that was shown and just how unfair it is. But let's take a look. Let's let us let him tell it. Said this. Vice, Vice President Harris began the debate by punting the first question on the economy. Do you believe Americans are better off than they were four years ago? So I was raised as a middle class kid and I am actually the only person on this stage who has a plan that is about lifting up the middle class and working people of America. It went on from there. Despite the economy being the number one issue facing the country, the sitting vice president generally reverted to talking points about a few of her policy proposals. Even Harris allies today are saying that she needs to talk more about what she will do for Americans if elected. Senator Bernie Sanders will be here in a second to talk about more about the need for her to fill in some of those blanks. On the border, another vulnerable issue for Harris, she also dodged. Would you have done anything differently from President Biden on this? So I'm the only person on this stage who has prosecuted transnational criminal organizations for the trafficking of guns, drugs, and human beings. Okay, that wasn't the question. When asked how she would break through the Israel-Hamas war stalemate, Harris said this. We need a ceasefire deal and we need the hostages out. And so we will continue to work around the clock on that. Okay, but again, how? So this is what I realized. This is this is going back to that whole Drake Kendrick situation. Didn't matter what Kamala said. Nobody was going to hold her accountable. Didn't matter. It didn't matter what she said. It didn't matter how she answered questions. It did not matter. It just didn't matter. Now, where were the moderators? that are gonna push back like they pushed back on Trump when he was answering certain questions. She literally, it's so funny, after the, the see, I, I have a pretty good memory. I remember after the debate between Biden and Trump, what everybody came out and said, the Gavin Newsom, the Van Jones, the people in some, my family and friends. Oh, Trump didn't answer any questions. He avoided every question. I bet that they didn't even realize before seeing that video, if, you, if, you, if you're one of them, I bet before seeing this video, you may have felt it a little bit, but you didn't verbalize once and maybe you didn't even realize that she also didn't answer questions. And I actually thought that Trump answered the questions in the first one. I just thought that he answered them on his own time. He would get asked a question and he'd say, well, I'm going back to answer this one and then I'll address that. But neither here nor there. If you believe that Trump didn't answer the questions, was your energy the same when it came to this? Because I damn near felt like after the first debate, even though Trump, I mean, even though Trump clearly dominated, there was a lot of energy from liberals and Democrats saying, well, he lied the whole time. So it's not like he won. It's just that Biden didn't do well. You know, that type of energy, like nobody won. But then you're lifting up Kamala like she's Ali after becoming world champ when she did exactly what you accused Trump of doing. I don't know. But it's always good to have somebody from the liberal side, like a Jake Tapper, who he's had a lot of back and forth with Trump. Um, 
And it's it's good to have people, you know, offer their objective views on a situation. So um, we can't have a show. We, we've actually gone like a month, maybe even longer, um, without showing the view. Let me show y'all this, this clip of the view. Hold on one second. We're going to show you this, this Joy Behar. I believe that's her name, right? I want to show y'all what happened when Usher went on The View. <laughs> 